Hallo bei Ankrat TV. Ich bin heute hier am Sadik Master Festival in Paris mit dem Regisseur Kasper Juhl. Hallo Kasper. Hallo, good to be here. Uh, I have to talk English today, so it's my first uh, interview in English, but I guess we will... We try our best. <laughs> yeah. Kasper, yeah. uh, please uh, introduce yourself for the people who... Not uh, who do not know you already. Yeah, well, uh, I'm Casper and I'm a film director from Denmark, and I've made a lot of underground horror movies like Madness of Many, uh, God Will Our Universe, Your Flesh Your Curse, and my latest Bloodsucker is premiering here at this festival. Uh, which kind of movies have you uh, made so far? Um, I, I believe Bloodsucker is my 11th feature film, uh, and uh, I started with more like this art kind of form in, in Madness of Many uh, about uh, the meaning of life and stuff. And then I've made some simulated snuff films and uh, also made dark dramas and stuff. So yeah, I kind of mix, mix it a little bit. Um, and the, the, your films are not just gory, they also have a story, or, or it's yeah, just gory? Yeah, yeah. Um, some of them are very gory, but uh, I think most of them are more, uh, you know, disturbing in a psychological way. Yeah. So, and I think I probably like that the most, but I like to mix those worlds, you know, the gory stuff with the psychological. Yeah. Uh, when have you started to make films and why? Um, I got a camera when I was six or seven years old. And from that day on, I filmed, filmed everything. I, uh, when I played with my toys, I always filmed it. Uh, so I kind of knew my whole life I wanted to make films, but I think back in 2011 I made my first feature film. Um, so yeah, then I just keep going. Yeah. Where do you uh, get the ideas for your films or what influences you? Oh yeah, well a, a lot of stuff. Um, sometimes you know you just get an idea then I, I just sit down and write and then stuff happens and you just keep writing and the movie just c comes from you um, from some place I don't know uh, but general just life and of course also other movies I, lot, I watch a lot of movies and then suddenly you you are like hmm, I haven't seen this kind of movie. we're missing this movie and then uh, I made that movie you know what I mean yeah so it's kind of a, a lot of things but I also get very inspired by working with actors you know I can I can get an idea by seeing an actor be like okay it could be cool to put him or her in this role and then the movie just writes itself from that idea yeah which kind of movies do you watch on your own do you have uh, other directors which influence you uh, yeah, well, I, love, 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 I watch a lot of movies um, a lot of old stuff as well um, so uh, but you know my favorite director is Las Montreal from my own country oh cool yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, a, lo a lot of stuff, um, a lot of directors I look up to, yeah. How uh, is the workflow when you start doing a yeah. new movie from the beginning, writing, until you have your, the finished DVD or Blu-ray in yeah. your hands? Uh, well, it, it always starts with you know an idea and it can be a small idea. And then I just start writing and then the movie kind of builds itself in a way. Uh, and, but sometimes we also uh, you know, for some of my films, we have the script is 20 pages, even though it's a feature film. So I like to do improvised stuff a lot. Um, so uh, yeah, we're writing it, shooting it, and uh, work in a very quick way. Yeah. Um, how big are your films? So how much money do you need to make a film? And is this your main job, or is this uh, just a hobby? Yeah, well, um, it is my main job, but I also work in the film industry. It could be as an assistant director on other projects, maybe. Um, so, uh, and then I do, I also worked in a haunted house in Denmark and stuff like that. So I try to be in that, uh, uh, that world. Um, they are very low budget films, uh, but uh, later this year I have another feature film, which is uh, kind of a big budget um, for the first time. So that's going to be exciting. Yeah. And how do you get the money uh, for your films? Do you uh, pay everything on your own, crowdfunding or...? Uh, both. Uh, sometimes it's, it's on our own, but uh, we also do some crowdfunding, so that's, that's how. Um, 
And uh, on my next film, there is an investor who gave us a lot of money to do the film. So, yeah. Um, are you working with professional uh, actors or are these hobby actors? Uh, no, they are professional, uh, most of them I work with, yeah. And I work with some uh, famous uh, actors from Denmark as well in my other projects, yeah. Um, would you say that um, your films are inspired of political issues or um, social themes? If, yeah, well, kind of, I guess. I like to use Copenhagen a lot in my movies uh, in some way. Uh, maybe to show that uh, there's something rotten in the state of Denmark, I don't know. But I, I'm not that political. Uh, I, I just want to make um, movies which are entertaining for people and disturbing. Yeah. Why I want to do disturbing movies? Because I think that when you do disturbing movies or you provoke people by art, only it's only there you can like uh, give them new um, thoughts about life or stuff. Uh, you have to look inside yourself and see the world in another way when you're looking at disturbing stuff. It does just do, it does something to you, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so you want to get the emotions of the of your yeah. Uh, that, that's the main the, reason. Yeah. Um, which role does music play in your films? Where do you get it and which role plays yeah. it in your films? Um, it plays a huge part um, and I'm a musician myself. Um, I, I, uh, I'm the singer in a band. Uh, but you don't compose the music on your own, you have composers. I have composers, you have yeah. composers. Um, Would you say that your films are underground movies or in which uh, genre would you put in your movies? Yeah, well, um, I mean in Denmark they are easily, uh, you can watch them streaming and stuff, so uh, I guess that's not underground because it's in huge streaming platforms in Denmark. But uh, yeah, I would say it's, it's underground films, horror drama, yeah. Um, what are the challenges for you to make a movie? When you start, when you make it, what are the challenges to make the movie? Yeah, the, well, the boring answer is money. <laughs> you need the fucking money, eh? you know? Um, but uh, actually, I've, I've, when, when we make movies, it usually just goes fine. There's not that many challenges, but you can always like, work with some actors who like to do it in some way and you have to work your way around that and stuff. Um, so yeah, but um, locations can uh, be a tricky part sometimes. Yeah, so usually I'm just, so then we're just filming in my own apartment or my friend's apartment because that's way easier than paying someone to be there for two hours and then you have to get out and stuff. Yeah. Um, I should uh, ask this before, but I forgot it. Um, you said you started filming uh, very early, you tried a lot. Have you ju uh, just uh, learned it by trying on your own or do you have an education for uh, filming? Not really. I studied f eight months in a, a something called the European Film College in Denmark. Uh, but I, I've learned everything on my own. Yeah, so no, there's no school in that kind of way. Uh, the blood and gore effects in your film, how do you make them? Do you work a lot with CGI or handmade or...? Uh, the gory parts is, is always handmade uh, and uh, I work with some great special effects artists in, uh, in Denmark who helps me with it sometimes. Uh, sometimes I'm doing it on my own for my latest film Bloodsucker, we did all the special effects ourselves. But I usually work with uh, some great artists from Denmark who can make uh, very bloody and gory stuff. And CGI? Uh, we, lose it. we use a little CGI. Uh, I don't like to use it that much, but I think uh, a little bit is fine, yeah. Um, on this festival, on the Sadiq Master, we saw yesterday your newest film, Bloodsucker, would mm -hmm. you say something about this movie? What is it about or yeah. what would you... Well, it's a, it's a vampire movie, so that's a first for me. Um, and it's about a 
disturbed guy who turns into a vampire and he's trying to find his soulmate. So it's kind of a very bizarre and fucked up love story. Uh, how came the idea for this movie? I always wanted to make like a vampire film and I just think vampires nowadays, they are so stylized and it's just not good movies. So I, liked, I wanted to take that back and do something ugly and disturbing and yeah, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, you were uh, the first time here on the festival? or has No, I've been, been here, here okay. four times before, I think, yeah. I went here in, in for many years ago and then I was asked to be in the jury the next year and then I was here with a short film, I think, and no, a feature film also, and then, uh, yeah, my fourth time here with a feature. I think there's a short free film from you on the DVD of this uh, Digimaster yeah, Festival. Yeah, there is, yeah, Because I saw, what, do you know which movie? Uh, it's uh, Der Divas. Yeah. That's, this movie is, uh, what is the theme of this short film? It's about uh, uh, two girls who are uh, um, uh, hiking and um, they get in a car with a man and things turn ugly. Yeah. Um, normally you are doing long films. I think yeah. you don't have a lot of short films. So what's the yeah. running time normally of your films? Uh, one hour and 40 minutes, yeah. And like the like yeah. Platzak? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the, the short films are, are like... Uh, 20 minutes, yeah. But I like to do feature film the most because there is a, a scene for that. The short films is like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you would say some words to this festival. How do you like it? Yeah. Uh, well, it's. Uh, I think this festival is, is amazing and I like being here, and, uh, especially the people, even though we watch really disturbing shit. Uh, it's just great fun and we uh, we all like each other. So I really love the environment here. Yeah. Uh, have you watched other movies too on this festival? And if yes, which was your favorite movie? Yeah, uh, well, um, we watched a, li a little bit. Uh, we watched some of the documentary. Uh, it was kind of disturbing, very disturbing. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Have you seen this document documentary before? Because I have it on DVD. Oh, yeah. yeah and yeah. it's... Uh, yeah, it's kind of disturbing. <laughs> yeah, uh, The Art of Self-Harm, yeah. Uh, but no, I haven't seen it, so it's my first time uh, watching it. What do you think about uh, th things like this documentary? Because there we see real uh, injuries. Yeah. What do you think about? Well, I, I like uh, I like movies because uh, it's fake, I guess. So I like the, I like fiction way more, uh, especially when it's 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 gory or disturbing. Then uh, for me, it it should be fiction. But uh, of course, I I can see why you want to make a documentary about these people. So, uh, but also, I would love to do a documentary, like a real documentary someday. Yeah. Uh, in your films, where are your borders? Where what uh, so where say I don't want to show this or I don't want to uh, do this? Is there, there are borders yeah. for you? Uh, no, uh, as long as it's not real stuff, then everything is fine. As long as it's faked. Then I'm cool with whatever. Yeah. Um, you are from uh, Denmark. Denmark. Yeah. How is the censorship there? Because uh, Austria, they yeah. have nearly no censorship. Yeah. Germany, Switzerland. Yeah. They. We 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 don't have have any uh, as well. Uh, so uh, you can most for the most part do what, whatever you want. Yeah. Um, what are what have you planned? Uh, what are your future plannings for? Your plans for future yeah. projects. So. Uh, right now I'm in post with another film based on the works of Hans Christian Andersen, very famous Danish author who made The Little Mermaid and stuff. We have uh, made a horror film, uh, me and three other guys, we made a horror film about his works. Uh, so it's kind of a disturbing fantasy horror film. So that, that film will be out later this year and then uh, I'll just keep going. Yeah. Um. Finally, what would you like to say to our viewers? Yeah, I would just say, you know, watch these, watch underground films and support it because uh, that, that's what keeps us going. And that's why we will keep making movies because there is some people to watch it. Yeah. Uh, are there some other festivals, film festivals, where you will be this year? Hopefully, I will be at the Bot Film Festival. Uh, and also been there before. So uh, and then we have one in Sydney, I think. And uh, yeah, that's the plan for now. So I'm, I'm, I'm not sure which festivals. Other than that, yeah. Casper, yeah. Thank you for your thank time. Thank you, man. Thank yeah. you. And yeah, I'm looking forward to see 
more mo movies. Oh, thank you. From you. Thank you so much. A and, pleasure. And I have to uh, look um, a God without the universe. I have it at home, but I yeah, still haven't watched it. <laughs> but I will do this when I am at home from Paris amazing. next week. Oh, and amazing. Thank you. Yeah, looking forward to that. Thank you, man. Thank yeah, you. Thanks. thanks. Thanks for your time. Of course. Thank you. Wir sehen uns beim nächsten Video. Bis dahin. Ciao. Fiat euch.